What is up guys, my name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, today we are at Ridgemar Mall in Fort Worth, Texas, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from me. This drive was pretty far, but today we're gonna check out a track that has been here for about a year. I've never been here, and it's only an hour and a half away from me, or an hour and 20 minutes away from me. So this is kind of long overdue, um, but today is their annual race. Uh, they've been open for a year and there's, there's a pretty decent sized race in here. We're going to check it out and yeah, it should be pretty fun. So let's head on in there. So we have no idea where we're going. I imagine it's got to be somewhere. I mean, I figure we can walk the whole thing. Check this out. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm even looking for a little, I want to see an RC track on the map at the mall. I think that would be cool, but I can't find a freaking map. I wouldn't say this mall is run down, but it's just kind of vacant. They're like all the stores aren't taken up. It's a lot of vacant spots. Look guys, RC, RC Car Club of America. Sorry, I can't read. RC Car Club of America, RCCA, that's what this place is called. We're over here, we gotta go over here. So we're on the opposite side, but that's super cool to see an RC car track on the mall directory. Oh man, this is gonna be cool. All right guys, I think I see it. I think it's right. Oh, look at the x-ray stuff, so. Here it is. This is actually the guy who runs this track as a multinational champion. His name is Chris Adams. I actually did an interview with him. There it is, RCCA. I did an interview with him on the On The Tone podcast. Oh, look at that. There it is, USGT. Sean Greider, good friend of mine. Oh, dang, look, I walked right into a race. Super cool, guys. I think this is USGT, so I don't know anything about, I mean, I kind of know a little bit about the cars, but I don't know a whole bunch about it. Whew. But onward racing. God, this is, I wish they had this close to my house so bad. All right, we're gonna walk around. So that's Chris Adams up there. He's announcing right now. I would say hi to him, but you know, he's announcing. Gotta, gotta respect his announcing. Oh, he was in Carpet Racers. If you watch Carpet Racers, Mark was in there. There's a few people that are probably in Carpet Racers in here. It's like a pit. Oh, here's, here's a... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to take it all in, guys. I haven't been here before. I'm taking it all in while I'm vlogging. I wonder what this is. This has gotta be like 17.5 or something. But we're gonna get some mod races. Oh my god, they're so fast. A little mini shop. Super nice. Oh, see, they got the uh, the Euro trucks. That's what I would love to race. That's what I would have brought up here if I would have brought my stuff up here. I'm assuming this is where I'll Chris and them pit. Some more pits back here. Let's go to this back corner. I like to give you guys kind of like a walk through the entire thing because I'm always wondering what the environment's like. Like you see the track, but you never get to look around in a lot of videos, but it's, it's, it's nice. Like most of it's a track, which it should be, but then you have pitting around the outside and then pitting over here. And this is like the mini shop area. All right, so this is 21.5. Look how fast this 21.5 is. This is, I would want to run a 21.5 class. That's just me. Um, when you see the mod guys, you'll see why I don't think I should run mod. Let's go check out some cars. Oh wait, here's some. Look at this. This is a uh, this is an awesome class. This is VTA. Whenever I did run on road, I ran a little bit of VTA, but it's not a super expensive class to get into, and the the bodies look super sick. Look at this one over here. It's a Mustang. Oh, that one looks sweet. Ferrari. Oh. Oh my god, Evan, you almost let me knock this down. Guys, I almost took the TV out just now. All right, here. Let's look at some more VTAs, because the VTAs are sick. Here's a cool VTA. Look at that one. Josh, you're done. Stu, you're done. Oh, here's another super cool VTA. So I think you got to run the VTA tires, but man, those look awesome. This guy right here. Look what this guy. Look what this guy's racing right here. <laughs> He's running a Fortec out here. He's running a Fortec in 21.5 touring car. And he's in the A right now. 
So Ray, he has actually worked at the, one of the first hobby shops that I kind of lived at for a while, Mike's Hobby Shop. He helped me out a lot. He's part of the reason why I came up here to check out his stuff. All right, so let's look, take a look at his Fortec. This Fortec is probably done up as much as a Fortec can be done. He's basically his ESC costs more than the entire car. <laughs> he's got he's got these little links. It's, it looks like they're perfect for right there. I guess yeah, it just slash rear camera links. He's got to shorten them up a little bit and they work perfect. Slash rear camera links. That's all it is. Yeah. Takes a slop out because there's a lot of Takes a lot of play out. like this forward and back. So it definitely helps out with the front. Just to stiffen it up, make it a little easier to drive. Golly, he's got the big metal. This is the uh, the VXL center drive. Yep. Yep. Definitely helps I feel out. Like the, you think it's better that it's heavier like that? Because that thing is super heavy. Well, the problem with wood, like the stock one, the aluminum one is, you got a lot of flex in it. Oh, so it's got a lot yeah. of vibration. So that definitely true. helps out with that. He's got carbon fiber shock towers. Dude, he is totally repping a Fortec out here. Here's another Fortec. This is Sean's. Another off. He's an off-road guy also, ra racing on road. Um, but look, his has a whole bunch of stuff done to it also. God, it's crazy. <laughs> I want to bring my Ford tech out here. So here, oh, I'm going to go on the other side, Sean, if you don't mind. So here is like the the top of the line, like the flagship touring car you can get right now. This is the this is the newest one, right? X-Ray 2020. X-Ray 2020. Look at these things. That's the thing about on-road. It's like these things are like a piece of art. They're freaking beautiful. Like everything, carbon fiber, fiber, all anodized aluminum. I mean, they're just beautiful. Here's this. This is a X12. X-Ray. This is a pan car. So they run one cell in these, uh, but they are still super fast. But look how he's, see how he sauced just half the tires? That's how hardcore on-road gets. Like how you sauce tires makes a big difference. It's crazy. This is my friend Andrew's cars. He's He's been racing on-road for such a long time. Um, so you know his cars are probably set up almost perfect. He's got his tire touring machine over here. So people run foams and then they run rubber tire. If I were to run, I would probably run touring car rubber tire. But this is a wait. This is a 21.5, Andrew. What, yeah, 21.5. So this, so this is a stock touring car, and then I guess this is his mod. So I'm gonna shoot the 21.5 touring car class, and then you'll see the difference between 21.5 and mod. It's <laughs> it's next level. Check out this beast. That thing looks pretty sick. I think this is a Tamiya. See, we can run Tamiyas out here. F1 car. I think if I were to make a, an on-road purchase, I would go F1. Because I think they look freaking cool. Everyone knows I love F1. There's his F1 body. Look at this thing. Beautiful piece of art. There he is. He's about to put the Fortec down. <laughs> about to lay it down with the Fortec. I'm excited about this. On-road is a completely different monster, guys. Like you have to run a shorter, like you got to run that super tight line because when you run that super tight line, you actually have a shorter amount of track to travel. So it's crazy. I'm excited to watch these guys. This is kind of cool. This is where they run their tires in on the carpet. So you don't run it in on the track. They have just this little piece cut out to run your tires in here. Oh, sorry. All right, here we go. I got approval to be up here. You guys are really critical with the way I do things sometimes trust me guys I am the most respectful when it comes to RC tracks and owners like I'm not gonna disrespect anything so I got approval from Chris to stand up here and record this race but this is 21.5 this is the second heat so the way it works right. is they run around a qualifiers and they do a resort and they resort based on speed so the, the fact that this is the last 21.5 heat, these are the fastest people based on the first heat. So, with that said, if you miss the first heat and you get resorted into a slower qualifier, then that's how you can be fast in a slower qualifier. Yeah, people, see, this is great. Look, people can walk by and see the track. This is exactly what the hobby needs right here. A mall, traffic. Why is my son outside? Do you see him? Why is Q-Tip outside? I don't know what's going on there. Um, but just the traffic is awesome. Oh man. And he's gonna lead us off with Stu, Jose, Gilbert, Ray, and Ethan. Work together guys, work together. So I believe they're doing if more qualifying. So they call your name and then you go. Stu. So there goes, so there goes Stu. Jose. Jose. Gilbert. Gilbert. Ray. Ray. So Ray is the Vortex, so we're going to follow Ray around. Rolling. 
second heat of stock tour is your eight ball. Oh, God, I'm nervous just watching this, guys. He was taken last time by Mark McGurin, 25 5 11. See Mark McGurin. TQ'd. Do anything about that. Whoa, we got so close to the wall there. Jose. One of these guys. It's crazy. I haven't seen a lot of these guys in a while. There used to be a track opened by my, kind of by my house called Mike's Hobby Shop that had an on-road carpet track. And a lot of those guys who ran on-road there come here now. So I haven't seen a lot of these guys in a long time. Which is kind of cool. Look at that. If I told you that was a four tech, I bet you wouldn't believe me. That thing is ripping. Put down a new hot lap for the four tech 12.5. So the four tech has the fastest lap right now. That is too funny. <laughs> oh, man. So here, there's TQ. He just passed Ray with the Fortech. That's Andrew, the one we were just talking to, looking at his cars. He is an excellent driver. This is his thing, he's on-road, carpet on-road, and he is, he travels all over the nation, goes to Snowbirds, all those big races on-road, and does pretty well. That's the dark I mean, look at how smooth his line is. He's not losing Three, a lot of four, time. Four. Line's really tight. Like, oh, Cole, God. It's, it's a different kind of racing, guys, but it's super cool. Stu from the streets put down a hot lap on lap. Number look look at this. Two. Look at this. The freaking Stu's train the comes by, and the kids see it. I'm, I'm telling you, there is a kid in there who's seeing these cars that's going to be in RC when they get older. That's freaking awesome. Oh, my God. I like this place, guys. I like it a lot. Guys, this is the Formula One class. Look at these cars. Oh, look at the Alphatori car. I'm like geeking out big time. Everyone's behind me just watching me like get on the ground looking at these RC cars. That one looks like the, the Ferrari one. Hopefully they'll all come around here. But this is the F1 class. This is what... Oh, God, it looks so sweet. There's a Ferrari. Oh, man, it looks super cool. <laughs> Here's Mark's car. Look at how beautiful that thing is. My goodness. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to get an F1 car, guys. It doesn't get much cooler looking than that. Lube is hot on the F1 cars. My God. I know you can barely see these, but I don't think the videos do it justice. I mean, this looks super duper sick. Just oh faster. my god. Down 13, four, last lap. 14, three for Dover. 14, I believe these are 21.5 also, so they're not. Cr oh, there, here goes someone with an overtake. Oh, he goes on the inside. Nice. Not used to driving oh god, I need enough one car. So check it out. They're rubbing their tires into the carpet. Similar to like warming your tires up. This is 12 scale pan car. These run on one cell batteries. Um, but they're real, they're actually really fun. I've, I've had a pan car before. Actually, in that, if you watch that video wherever I went through my bodies, you saw one on pant car bodies. It was that Filipino flag one. Um, I had a lot of fun running this class. These cars are actually pretty durable, and uh, they like run on rails. That's really really cool. Uh oh, looks like he has a trim issue. Um, but they're doing some John tire Price. prep before the race. We'll get some of this race so you guys can see what this is all about. Here's another kid doing tire prep. It's kind of rubbing the tires in crazy all right guys here is 12 scale pan car 12 scale 7 12 scale cars out on the track this is what it is all about and you're opening up with 11 8 oh spun out there man look at how fast these things are this is nuts Crazy. All right, guys. Here it is. This is like the. Whoa! Did you see that thing on the street? Oh my god. So these are the fast cars. This is like whenever you go travel, this is like the pro class here. They are so fast. Down the straightaway, it's like lightning. Like, I don't even know if my brain works that fast. It's crazy. Watch how fast. I'm going to try to follow these cars on the track, but they're super fast. So Chris is TQ. He's the one that's the big national champion. He's the pink car. He's super crazy fast, guys. He was fast back in the day at Mike's. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't even see it on the viewfinder, guys, on the camera. 
I'm not joking, like I can't even see it. Oh, that's so fast. Like I just, I don't, it doesn't, like my mind doesn't process that fast. Unreal, guys. Let's see him pass somebody. That'll be cool. They're pretty courteous in this in on road though. They'll move out of the way. Here it comes. See, he went a little wide there. Oh, see, very nice. Look how close he is to the corner. Golly, that's insane, guys. Follow another car. I don't know who Toasty is, but apparently he's a uh, out of towner. He's this car we're following right here, right, right, wait, right, right there. Oh man. Super freaking fast. Check out this shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the camera around so you guys can hear what it sounds like. The novice race is going out right now. See? Should be intimidated. Bring your car up here. Bring your car up to the track and run it. There's classes for all skill levels. I really like this uh, little mini looking. Super cool. Alright guys, that's a wrap. That's actually pretty freaking cool, I'm not gonna lie. I want a VTA. Either want a VTA or F1. I think VTA would be probably better for me since Seems a little bit easier to drive, they say. So, and it's it's cool. I can get a Mustang. I get a Mustang VTA. That would be super cool. So, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.